Egypt. Your Honor, we request an immediate ruling from this court. Is there or is there not a Santa Claus? Well... <clears throat> Uh, the court will take a short recess uh, to consider the matter. I don't care what you do with old Whiskerpuss, but if you go back in there and rule that there's no Santa Claus, you better start looking for that chicken farm right now. Why, we won't even be able to put you in the primaries. But, Charlie, listen to reason. I'm a responsible judge. I I've taken an oath. How can I seriously rule that there is a Santa Claus? Why don't you look... All right. You go back and tell him that the New York State Supreme Court rules there's no Santa Claus. It's all over the papers. The kids read it and they don't hang up their stockings. Now, what happens to all the toys that are supposed to be in those stockings? Nobody buys them. The toy manufacturers are going to like that. So they have to lay off a lot of their employees, union employees. Now you got the CIO and the AF of L against you. And they're going to adore you for it and they're going to say it with votes. Oh, and the department stores are going to love you, too. And the Christmas card makers. And the candy companies. Oh, Henry, you're going to be an awful popular fella. And what about the Salvation Army? Why, they got a Santa Claus on every corner, and they take in a fortune. But you go ahead, Henry. You do it your way. You go on back in there and tell them that you rule there's no Santa Claus. Go on. But if you do, remember this. You can count on getting just two votes, your own and that district attorney's out there. The district attorney's a Republican. <laughs> 